Hello everyone, I'm down here in uh, Southwest Virginia. It is springtime and uh, leaves on the trees are starting to come out. Uh, what I'm doing this little video about is I want to show you uh, this plant here. This is left over from last year. This is actually uh, a yellow top uh, crown beard and uh, as you can see right in there there's a whole lot of them what we used to call this thing when i was growing up is uh, stickweed there's a whole bunch more right up here uh, as you can see uh, there's some of the tops and these are the dead tops left over from last year and i want to show you why we call these stickweeds and you can listen and hear it you hear it go pop uh, these things uh, they're like a stick and we used to take these things when I was young we used to take the, the thing like this we'd break it off and you can see there I got a real long piece and then we'd break it off up here next to the top and we would I got a great big long one there you can see and we would shoot those in, in bows that we made and these would be our arrows um, and uh, they shoot really good you can find some ones that are really straight and they shoot really straight and really true and you can actually kill birds with them and kill uh, squirrels and uh, mice and chipmunks with these things if you got a, a good bow and and you practice and everything so you could actually survive this could help you survive out in the wild uh, by using these as your arrows uh, and there's in the springtime they're really really uh, a lot of them they're really available you can also use uh, of course, a straight uh, little pieces of a tree limb or straight little trees, you can cut them and notch them and use them. But these will work quite well too, uh, especially if you're not shooting a really high-powered bow. A really high-powered bow, these probably wouldn't work very well in them uh, because uh, it would probably break them. Whereas if you use a wood arrow, if you choose the right kind of wood and notch it correctly and everything, you could use them in a bow that really has a lot of pound force uh, to really, really throw your arrows out there. Another thing I wanted to tell you about these guys here, this uh, yellow top crown beard, uh, the leftover sticks of them. Uh, these things die in the, in the fall when it frosts, they'll die. And these things get hard. Uh, and these things are excellent fire starters and even if it's been raining uh, these things are standing straight up and even if it's been raining they stay really dry and you can take and, and uh, break off a bunch of these and break them up in small bits and you talk about something really really good to start a fire with if you're out in the wilderness and need to build a fire or if you need to build a fire at home in your fireplace or your stove, these things really, really make great um, fire starters. So anyway, that's a little bit on uh, yellow top crown beard, the uh, dead shoots or stems uh, that are left over from, from last summer. Uh, the root of the yellow top crown beard, it comes back year after year and it's really, really hard it's a really, really hard root, and the only way to get rid of these things is to dig them up. Uh, you can spray them, and farmers can spray them, but if you got cattle out in the field, uh, they will not eat these uh, yellow top crown beard uh, leaves. They're poisonous to them, and they will not eat them. They'll eat all the grass right around them. But uh, these things, <coughs> this yellow top crown beard, can take over a pasture field if you don't uh, 
dig them out or cut them down, keep cutting them down. If you keep cutting them down, any plant, if you keep cutting it down, you're going to kill it. Uh, a lot of people have killed their asparagus patches like that after the asparagus, uh, you don't pick it anymore in the spring. They would cut down the tops. <coughs> and you can't do that. You got to let it grow throughout the year and uh, uh, those tops uh, nourish the roots and it gets the roots ready for the next season's crop. So, uh, but uh, a lot of people, they would take and uh, I know back in the olden days they'd have their children out uh, cutting down these stickweeds out in the pasture field. And like I say, you keep cutting them down, you'll kill them. Uh, you can also spray them to kill them. And you can also dig, dig up the root system to kill them. <clears throat> but they will flat take over a pasture field if uh, you're not careful. But anyway, that's a little video on uh, yellow top crown beard, uh, the leftover uh, roots uh, from uh, the leftover stems from last year. So anyway, thanks a lot uh, for watching. And I hope you folks enjoyed the video. And if you did, please subscribe. I'll be posting more videos. And uh, the more subscribers I get, the more videos I'll be posting. So thanks a lot. And you folks have a nice day.